What's going on YouTube? Anthony coming back at you another video. As you can see, little change in scenery again. I'm back at my house. Um, not any more work videos. Well, I'll still be doing videos from work, but I have a ton of mail and I was kind of waiting for some. And a lot of it came in on Saturday and I don't work Saturday or Sunday. But Saturday night and I uh, thought I might shoot this video. Get it out of the way because I have a ton of stuff to show. And uh, nothing shipped yet. I have to request shipment from check out my cards. Um, got a uh, loan for my trip to London. Uh, it took about a two thousand dollar loan, and uh, priced everything out. So taking out two thousand dollars, I'm gonna be there for like six, seven days. <clears throat> Excuse me, six, seven days. Uh, gonna be meeting up with a friend who lives in London. Gonna be meeting up with him and uh, going to an Arsenal match. Going to the uh, New Year's party. Uh, in central London. It's gonna be a blast. I'm gonna have a lot of fun. But uh, so pickups will be a little slower from now until then. You'll probably notice a little change in pickups. I don't know. <laughs> but you'll see a little change in pickups, a little slow down. Um, probably gonna be selling off all my trade, but I already started trading away some of it. But I really need to say, all right, I need to sell some stuff rather than trade it for more PC stuff. So let's just get into this mail day cause. Ugh. Got a nice healthy stack of stuff to show. First off, package from James. Fight on 5-2. He told me he got a card in a group break. He'd send it my way. And he threw uh, in a couple other cards. Got this Tim Tebow base card from Finest. Can't really say he was a Patriot. I, I sold my autograph of him because he really didn't play for the Patriots. He never really made it past the postseasons. Uh, preseason, so there was really no. I, I sold it for the same amount that I paid for it. Actually, I made a profit on it, so there was really no reason for me to keep a seventy-five dollar card, rather distribute it to the rest of the part of my collection. But I will be keeping that. Uh, next, a nice Tom Brady, fantasy of twenty-five, fantasy top twenty-five. Excuse me. Insert. Do not have that one. And then this one, which this one made me all giddy, <laughs> a little blast from the past. Instead of Corey Dillon from Upper Deck ESPN. That is numbered to 25. So a really sick card there. Thank you very much, James, for that. And then the card he told me about that he got in a group break is this really nice. His stuff sells really well. I'm so happy to get as much stuff as possible because he is my rookie to collect this for this year. I pick a rookie every single year to collect Aaron Dobson. Last year was Chandler Jones. Year before was Vereen mostly. And year before was he who will not be mentioned. But, uh... All right, now I get for some raffle wins. I got a lot. I was in Stadi's room for a raffle, and I felt so bad for winning this after I won it. Um, won it for four bucks, and well, I bought all the spots. He did four dollars, four spots for a dollar a spot, and uh, it was right before the Broncos uh, Ravens game. The lot consisted of this Brock Osweiler momentum jersey, number two. It's a two seventy five. Yeah, two seventy five. That is for trade. And then this card, Julius Thomas, gold standard rookie autograph. This guy had a beast night, uh, 110 yards, 120 yards, and two touchdowns. Card now sells for like a $20 card. I felt so bad that he sold it for $4 with the Oswald. And then he threw in an extra too, so now I feel even worse. <laughs> nah, it's all good. But he threw in this really nice extra for my Patriots PC. Super, super sick card. Love this product. Love old Upper Deck. From Upper Deck Premier, number to 65, four-color patch of Ben Watson. That is super sick. Thank you so much, Stadi, for throwing that in. Both of those guys' li uh, links will be down in the description. Go check James and Stadi out. You probably already have done, but do it if you haven't. All right, now to go for some. I picked up one trade bait item. Kobe Fleener, rookie autograph. I think he's going to have a good year. Feel free to hit me up if you're interested. And Tops finally sent me a card worth my time. So, rookie autograph number 290 on card of Trent Richardson. And I got to keep the first two cards. This card sells for 60 bucks. So, I'm very happy. So, got my value worth finally. Thank you, Vincent, for sending me a card valued correctly. So, feel free to offer on this as well. It will most likely be for sale only because I need to start funding some other stuff because I'm going to have some. Really hefty bills now because that's um it's I took out a year loan. Uh, now for some Patriots pickups, got this very nice Aaron Dobson Crusade. This is the red and gold variation, number to ninety nine. 
Hopefully you guys can see that. I want to go back to work so you guys can don't have all the glare. But 1099, love it. Love the new Crusade. Autograph of this guy, Ben Jarvis Green Ellis. Didn't have an autograph of him. Picked up for a steal. He was good while we had him. And he signs his autograph BJ, so I kind of wanted it. <laughs> and the next card, saw this card online. It was an auction. Liked it. Like it even more in person. These cards are stunning in person. I wish there were more Patriots in it and not just this one scrub. Um, beautiful, beautiful card. And he shipped in a new mag. I want it for seven bucks. Art from 2008 Exquisite RPA of Kevin O'Connell. Number to 175. Look at that patch. Seven breaks and three colors with the autograph. Seven bucks. That is a beautiful card. I wish more Patriots were in that set. All right, so the next card I got for an absolute steal. Still can't believe I won it for this cheap. From 2012, exquisite, graded BGS 8.5 autograph uh, with a 10 auto of Drew Bledsoe from exquisite. Super sick card. Only thing I don't like about it is look how big the card is and look how thick the uh, Beckett case is. It like moves around a lot in there. I think I'm going to end up busting out of the case and sticking in a magnetic because Beckett really pulled the tops there. All right, next, got one Yankee pickup because my Yankee collection has really been neglected like an underprivileged privileged child over the rest past couple months with all my set pickups and Aaron Dobbs and all that stuff. Did pick up one card. I've wanted this guy's autograph for years and years and years. He is such a tough signer. He barely signed anything when he um, played. He signed a lot through his charity organization, so he was really on products, and when he is, it's so few and far between, and it sells for money. I hadn't searched his name in a long time. I searched it one night, and I found this card with a minute and 30 seconds, seconds left. I won it for less than what his autographs normally sell for, so I am happy. Very sick. From 2004, uh, uh, Leaf Certified, autograph of Jorge Posada. You never see his freaking autographs. I am so stoked to add this to my collection. With the jersey card. Love the die cut uh, autograph and win, uh, jersey window. Love it. Number 20. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. And four set pickups. Chad Jackson. This card was listed on eBay. He had it as a uh, an auction starting at $5 with $3 shipping. I messaged him. I said, hey, if you unlist, it, unlist this, I'll give you 10 bucks plus shipping. Never responded to my message. It ended. I want it for five bucks. So I guess that's how I didn't want the extra, the extra five dollars. Next card. Um, I saw this card under the sold list things. I messaged the buyer and he said he was the, a super collector of this player. I was like, great. That works. But he said, you know what? Since you're, I had talk, I was talking to him for a little while. And he says, you know what? You're putting the set together. I think I can part with one card. He had won the card for two bucks. Uh, I really didn't want to spend, overspend it for this card until I found out that he was a super collector. He said, hey, if you can give me 20 bucks, it's yours. I wasn't going to argue with him. Enough, It was enough of him willing to part with the card. So I was willing to pay the $20. It was the Maurice Stovall. Very nice. This one popped up on the bay. Snatched it right away. D'Angelo Williams. And lastly, one of the bigger ones... Uh, this one I found on sports card form. The guy also, it was in the guy's PC, but he was willing to part with it to help me out with my set. And uh, he gave me a really good price on it. Um, what up, Nick? Min Lovers 2. Maurice Jones Drew. So, very sick card. Four more cards for the set. That means I have 11, I think, of, the, of all of them in. Yes, I have 11 of the 20 in. I won three more. I bought three more on check out my cards. I got a request a shipment soon, but I plan on buying more stuff on there. So pickups will be coming in still, but not as crazy like this with this being like four days worth of mail. This is probably about a week's worth of mail, but uh, I will be still getting more stuff in once I sell some stuff and I'm going to start picking up some odd jobs around here. Hopefully get some more hours with work. Anyways, this is a long video. I'm going to cut it right before 20, uh, 10 minutes head on. Have a good weekend. Hope you guys enjoyed the games. I, it was a really tough game for the Patriots. Uh, just watched the Giants lose. That was a great game, though. Eli, keep throwing those interceptions. Make me happy. All right. Have a good night. Thanks for watching.